Hey, hey there, Joy of the World, friends and family. I am Joy, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around us. Welcome to your freaky Friday. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below. Join this Joy train, not this Joy train, this joy train where your joy, your fulfillment, your satisfaction comes true for you. Why? Because we're checking into the energy around you to help give you a fresh perspective, to find the confirmation, the resonance that you need to, to make clear decisions moving forward, stepping into your bold, bright, beautiful self, celebrating who you are. You are more than enough, friend. You are plenty. Perfect, divine, beautiful, just as you are. So, this Freaky Friday, I'm telling you, baby, what is it requiring is resolve. Resolve to reach this fulfillment. Now, I've been doing a bit of a channel. I have the cards remaining out, and I will clean them off as I show them to you when we step into the rest of the read. But it's talking about igniting the magic, and the resolve is required as to the reason why. Because often our self won't move forward unless it knows why. Because we programmed it to do and to seek and to prove to us what our thinking was. Now, in this case, some of us might have called it our belief, but it's what you're thinking. Your belief is stored in your heart, but your mind is where like the rings are, are circling around causing question. So uh, for many of you, there's this, there's this issue of thinking that there's not another opportunity or there's not another you out there. You know, maybe feeling like you stand out, that you're different or that you have to earn any type of love or reciprocation, um, life connection, that type of thing. But, do do. So anyways, let me, let me check up with my notes here. Yeah, but that's the downfall, okay? So it's showing up as an overactive imagination and not even recognizing who you really are, the magic of who you are. Because if you look, both these cards, this is what's behind you. It's emanating out behind you. I have a friend whose son, his glory emanates out of the back of his head. The light shines out from there. So it's great in your unconscious work, your nighttime work, maybe some sleep time, some dream time, maybe a little bit of lucid dreaming going on here. But this is in particular about reciprocation, about others, about connection, that type of thing. Wondering, is it for you? Will it ever happen for you? Whether that's love, love, or that type of thing. It can be in business. It can be in connection with yourself. It can be in, you know, feeling outside of you in the environment, the same experience that you're having inside of you, okay? So it lets me know there's a little bit of conflict in order to get on the same page. But this next row is coming in about really taking command and ownership of your mind, of the way you think in conjunction and connection with your beliefs because they're in conflict with one another. We want to get them complementary to each other. Things that are complements can sit opposite each other. Again, reiterating this 11 over here, the mirror soul, that thing about it being all in your head. So that's where we need to clean out the blot, the mark, the scar that's coming in that has perturbed and disturbed your vision about who you are in the center of yourself. Some of you thinking you're too much. Like I, for a good number of years, several decades of my life, people would tell me how too much I am, too colorful, too happy, too serious, too driven, too whatever. You know, and for some of you thinking you're not enough, but that can throw you off when you listen to the perspective of others and allow their mindsets to clog your clarity, your third eye, your 3D, your perception and depth of who you are. And that causes you to come up short. Like, okay, I haven't had this brain injury and skull fracture that I went through 19 years ago. There are times that things get uh, a little off in the head. My brain is too tired or something is going on that stairs will look like they're flat. You'll just, it'll just look like a piece of wood with lines going on in between them. And your brain cannot rectify that information as to what to do. And there's no depth there, so it doesn't even know how to step. And so it kind of can lock you up and freeze you up. And this is you drawing back, trying to get that different perspective, thinking that you're isolated and alone. But really, when you withdraw into this isolation in the midst of abundance, it plays a trick on your mind and you miss the opportunities that are right in front of your face. It's creating a cycle of despair. Let me take a look here. Yeah, and, and unnecessary solitude is what it's really like hearkening towards. Also, they want you to um, take a look at where Chiron is in your chart, that that's part of the key to your whole self, allowing your whole self to be displayed, which takes us into this. 
this is you celebrating the fullness of your moon, the wholeness of your mind, of how you see life and the perspective that you bring. Now that will bring in a lot of physical, tangible reward. This isn't just about, you know, moon mindedness, that it's all in your head, that type of thing. No, this isn't just in the mind, it's in the physiological brain. It is a connection in between the two, okay? So that will bring in the reward that you are seeking. Um, it talks about the reward that you're seeking comes when you stand up for yourself in what you believe. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, okay? About yourself. Not those things, those projections, the rejections, the workings of the mind, the whatever. Getting into the depth of your heart, getting into the center of your belief is what the focus of this incoming channel is about. So our affirmation is, I believe the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want to say it with me? I believe the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Staying centered in that where you often do about others, but this time it is for yourself as well from here moving forward in life. So let's get these cards cleaned up so we can get a little movement into this message here. How have you been? You loving this Freaky Friday or whatever day you show up here? I love these because we never know what's going to come out about that course of magic. Give me just a second to get these up. I don't usually do this in the midst of the thing, but they wanted me to show a few of y'all what was going on behind the scenes with the pictures here, okay? Knowing your worth, knowing your value, that type of thing. You can you can have self-worth in your heart and you think you don't because you wonder why it keeps in sign language. This means to go down, diminishing, to tank, to crash, to do that sort of thing. And it's because you're needing to experience your value. Your value is how others view you and see from you. So the, the truth and the key here of Chiron, right, is to stay connected to yourself. Stay in your truth. Know who you are. Don't lose sight of that when you go to sleep at night. Awaken your passion. Awaken your power. Awaken your permission to be plenty to trust yourself, okay, and to stay in the center of that truth. Now, let's get these cleared up. I'm going to set them to the side over here. We're going to get into the, woo, there's some more Queen of Swords coming in up on your throne. Now, here you're using the sword as your rudder to guide you in conjunction with spirit, letting the winds carry you, letting this motion, this power, this passion, and you are kind of using the word command, commanding your mind, it's like that rudder there driving the course of your mind and how it's going to flow and not allowing yourself to be blown off course. That's jellyfishing, okay? That's not sailing. Sailing isn't you just stick the sail up and let it control itself. No, the sail is an assist to help that wind carry you along with the rudder and the driving force of the direction that you were headed in, okay? It's not willy-nilly, all right? There is, there's drive and there is... Um, direction behind this okay oh some slipped out while i was talking let's see who we got here Ooh, okay so coming in under her she's gonna be a bit of our strategy is staying committed to that knowledge of self there okay in the realm of the mind in conjunction with the spirit very much some saturnian energy going on because it is talking about coming into this dimension into this realm where you can touch it taste it feel it smell it and that is very emperor quality there an emperor here who's talking about this season of aries that we are in that it's no longer having your eye on the prize because that's beating a dead horse. It's dead, gone, and buried. Those are past choices that led you to this level, but now you're stepping into a higher level, something that supersedes and extends beyond this realm of just willpower, okay? It's working in conjunction with your spirit, with your soul, getting in touch with what life's plan is for you and not just something else choosing and deciding for you. This has to do with like your destiny. Your destiny was when your divine self could help create yourself on the other side. You decide where you would land, what your chart would look like, the, the tools and passions that you wanted to pick up and cultivate in those developmental years, which were always developing, right? But picking them up, right? Gaining wisdom in there, in them, uh, methods of use, that type of thing. And then playing with them the rest of our lives. Stepping into that engagement. And that begins to shine down the pattern of who you are. 
you're saying here, never forget who you are. And I would say also for some of you, always remember who you are. Some of us, we hear one way or the other, but either way we have spoken it. But there is a pattern and a rhythm and a rhyme in everything you do, trust yourself. That was what keeps coming forward here, okay? I believe the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, friend. So with that, we have the moon. So this is no longer sinking down either. Remember there was that card of despair sitting up high trying to get the point of view, but also when the point of view comes on end and you understand how you think or believe or feel that you don't get lost in that, you didn't get swallowed up and it submerged in it. And in that I'm thinking like taking on too much, trying to provide too much information, too uh, big of a connection in order to move you forward, to carry you downstream because we don't want to be submerged in this all right we want to be here centered up on top moving forward in this energy riding the crest the wave okay so with that we're going to grab a new soul card who's at the bottom max the must how can you feed others when your own table is empty all right so i can see why there's been some teetering and tottering of the seesaw or the scale some people's um i have gods their charts their zodiac chart literally is a seesaw style some is a bull. There we go. Asmati. So that is 29. Perfect acceptance. This is you accepting that many of you, there's the power of witness. There's the power of partnership needing to come in, which is interesting that in the channel, it was talking about the unnecessary solitude that was coming about. What was it coming from? Let me take a peek. Oh yeah, from that despair, from going up on that high point and now going down to the depths, either way, you're falling into the same trap of being isolated and being cast out. So you're tired about being cast out of the center of who you are, out of your solarness, out of your sun, which is why so much of the moon is here. And the moon is not bad or wrong. Matter of fact, it's when we come into alignment of the sun, the moon, and the star. Who's the star? You. You're in the center and the balance there, and you're aware of how life moves and that it is fully and divinely connected like Big Papa always brings into the channel here, the great, the eight. Okay, you're wanting another soul card. How do I know? He kicked them off at me, so let's take a look. Okay, there's this protection going on, this two and the six, which is the eight, set personal boundaries. Now, the thing is, is you're, it seems that you're trying to adjust more to the environment that's going on around you. Can you see that you have an aquil up here, just like a dog when it bristles, is detecting something in the environment that is a foot or a miss. And that's why the going up high and the going down deep, it's, it's really, um, shift your environment. Shift your environment and the quality of people you surround yourself with. Stay away from deadbeats. Stay away from empty promises. And it's not the people themselves. We're not, we're not cursing them. We're not relegating them to that lot in life. But when you notice that pattern show up that somebody always makes promises and breaks them, promises and breaks them, or they keep talking about the same things 20 years down the road, you need some fresh air, my friend, because that is triggering to you. Do you know both of these are white cards? Okay, it's in the pure light, is in the pure vein. This isn't you being judgmental. That's different than having judgment. Judgment is clarity and understanding so that then you can make a proper decision of what you believe and how to move about in that situation or from that situation out of that situation because this is unlovely and this is where you go, oh, I don't like this about myself. Why did I act that way? Why did I say that sort of thing? You didn't understand that this was your spirit and your soul responding to that environment, picking up on the vibrations in that environment. Don't judge yourself for being sensitive or being awake and aware. Give yourself permission to move on from that energy when it when you begin to feel it coming or when you're aware that it keeps happening, that it's a repeated pattern. That's what you're talking about here with that. So let's get a bit of a Mary Ella. I hope that makes sense to you. It's like putting on your own blinders to people because you're don't you're not wanting to judge the person. And again, we're not. We're judging the environment. And that environment is unhealthy for you when you begin to experience things like this. And they're talking about you taking too much ownership and responsibility. Because you can only take responsibility for you and your actions. You can't control the environment and the energy of those around you. But you can decide who you spend time with. And that's that thing. They're not wanting you to pull totally into isolation. Nor to totally submerge yourself in others. Okay? They're wanting you to find the place in between the eight of discs, that beautiful balance. 
the trusting and knowing yourself that's really what this is about because when you know who you are and how you operate what you're here for that type of thing and not just your doings but your experience what really sets you off into joyousness like we said at the beginning right love is universal but joy is specific it's individual as to what makes you feel loved and here we have the Hierophant calling for some definite need and some order. Some of you, a bit of this might be overextending your boundaries here, like staying too late and then you get kind of bristly, you know, because that's when people are getting trashed, being ridiculous, or, um, you know, things spill over into gossip when things go on too long. So you're talking about firm boundaries here. And you can see them un unfurling. It's not like rigid, angular, hard, judgy again, because someone is struggling with judgmentalism and judgy, thinking that how could I say that about these people? It is not about the people. We talk about the energy here, y'all. And that that was a challenge for me personally as well. Is my mind's going, Well, I can't decide this or that, but really when I trusted the individual uniqueness of who I am and I realized that I'm just doing what's best for me, it's not about the person. It's about the energy going on around. And I can't choose what energies they'll entertain in their body or in their environment, but I can choose which ones I'll entertain. So I can appreciate them, but when it begins to get to that line, to that edge of my boundary, that's when I retreat and I move away. That's when I say goodnight or go home. That's when I end the conversation, that type of thing, before I come out of character begin to have these triggers and responses and start to blame myself and then go into the seesaw imbalance balancing game again okay let's see what else we have you here we're gonna get an air tip y'all this is what they do can you see that okay these are the ones that are wanting to talk who are these Okay, so we have the 10 of diamonds and the nine of diamonds. That that puts you fine like wine. That sits well with you. That simple understanding. And that's what it's talking about. I believe the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Because to me, believing is I be living. What you be living is not just something that you're saying. Remember a thought. It is the action, the heart. Action comes from the heart that we make the decision and we follow through with it. We don't explain ourselves either because that's when it gets muddy and messy and we could get in a power struggle. If you know it and you believe it, then you have to say very little. You just make your choices and you let that little bit of quaver, that little bit of question out, just settle down and ease down so you don't get carried away. Control it. Take a deep breath and know that spirit has your back and is leading you in the right direction. Now, so some of you who understand tarot, this, the nine diamonds and the ten of diamonds would have to do with the nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles. Okay. This is about seeing the bigger picture, seeing the future, not just at night, but in the light, the bright of day. This is about your power and your permission, your authority to rule and reign over yourself. You're of age now, if you're watching this channel, you're 18 or older. So you have the rights to that, to decide when to stay and when to go. You have the ability to transport yourself here and there, irregardless of how you do it, whether you go by bus, by foot, or by car. You have that ability, and you also don't have anybody to reprimand or to control you. You have the say-so and the authority over what you do, and it can fit and suit who you are. That's how you stay in the center of your goldness self. So with that, we're going to get doo -doo, some of the spirals of life from this wisdom oracle here taking us forward okay what is that and you know what it says time to go i absolutely love it because something greater is calling you it's calling you forward into a whole new world friends so for many of you this is leaving a place where you dwell where you live where you tolerate tolerance is not a healthy thing okay we've been taught that it is but but it's not because if you tolerate you're making yourself ill Okay, and that ill has to do with that illusion that we were talking about earlier. So making the magic really has to do about giving yourself permission to be you, to flourish, to thrive, to nurture, to arrive at this whole new world that's calling you for it. And I love it. But you're going to move forward by leaps and bounds. I see it right here for you, friend. Now, if you have not already, click that subscribe button down below. Hop on this joy train. Help it pick up momentum because you are here, your bright, bold, beautiful self. And as always, this material is being released every single week dated or not trust the message that your soul spirit and guides lead you to also be sure to listen to what you hear and what you receive not necessarily what i am saying because you know best you are on your journey here 
I am celebrating you. Remember to hit that like button. That is a free way for you to give into the channel and it doesn't do anything in YouTube except for you to remember which videos you have watched, okay? But it gives a vote for us and helps YouTube know which videos to circulate out to those who may not otherwise hear about us. Also, you can save it to a playlist, like, share, comment, put on your Facebook, whatever, okay? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.